It's cute. Taika's feeding the little birdies. <gasps> Look at the little birdies. Whoa, that's a big old one. Wow, look at all these birdies. Taika, you're the, you're the bird whisperer, Taika. That's cool, Taika's not scared of these guys. Some little babies are scared of animals. <laughs> that fool straight chucked it at his face. Good job, Taika. Yay! Oh, he just chucked it off the floor. That's cutie. Not so hard. Oh my god, he keeps chucking it off the floor. Bye bye. <laughs> After a few days in Hawaii, today's our first day actually coming down to the bottom of the hotel. And it's beautiful. Look, there's a pool behind us. I think this is one of the pools. I was reading, I think there's five pools. This one seems to be like the kid's pool because it only goes up to three feet and nine inches. So to keep it really safe. And we're down here because we're getting uh, breakfast at this traffic's place. And did you say we get like super priority or something? Yeah. Yeah, we do. <laughs> and then the beach is right behind us. Yeah. It's we get beautiful. priority seating and priority, I don't know. Yeah. It's hooked up. Ooh, I want to so go. So if to you guys want to book stuff, make sure you book with yeah, points because cool. they can hook you up with a bunch of stuff. These are things that we didn't even know. <laughs> you want to play with the buzzer? If I play with the buzzer, then and this guy's yeah. making my arm explode. But this is yeah, this is our first time down here. There's stores everywhere. There's a Holcomb store over there, and then there's that submarine thing I kind of want to do. What submarine thing? The oh my god, that we could. Cool. Yeah, let's find out about it. I don't know if this guy will stand it, I but... I, we have a voucher that gets 20% off activities, too. Oh! That's an activity. Yeah, let's check it out. And then, uh, we could check out the beach later. Yeah. This, this bottom part of the hotel is really nice. It's like a legit resort. Yeah. This breakfast session is pretty cool. Everything's shaded, but not like one big shade. It's all uh, umbrellas. So it makes you feel like you're still on the beach. And they got this big old net here. I think it's to protect from random birds flying and knocking things over, but no, even... I think it's to protect them. The peasants? Yeah, you've got to keep them out. <laughs> this is kidding. But somehow, these little birds still... Yeah, these little birds still come in here. We'll see little birds come in and just land on the table. But it's pretty nice. Those are, no, those are high class birds. Yeah. What are the high class birds? Yeah, they're high class birds. Oh. And what's cool is uh, we have these vouchers where it's like free $30 a person every single day. We haven't used them yet because David already had an itinerary, so we've been eating at all the other bomb ass places. But today, um, David's taking Mario back to the airport. So we're like, oh, we should use our vouchers because we have so much free breakfast on there. So I can't wait because when I was reading the menu, they have all kinds of cool stuff. It'll be like guava hollandaise, taro muffins. So I think they took like what's traditional breakfast and then they really added like a fusion Hawaiian twist to it, which got me really excited. One of the ones that we ordered was a halpia something creme brulee French toast. That looks bomb. Man, the food looks good. I got loco moco with mushroom gravy. That was that French toast I was telling you guys about. Marbra got continental breakfast. Love the presentation. And the Go ahead. And the little man got traditional Portuguese sausage and rice. And you're getting the cat and the egg. You're getting the cat and the egg. You're getting the cat and the egg. Oh god. Yeah, wait. Yo, wait, mama's gonna feed you all this yummy stuff. Ooh, what's that? Greek yogurt? Oh yeah. That looks really good. Can't wait. Oh, look at all those diced chives. <laughs> This is my favorite thing to do in the world. Pop the egg, right? Get the yolk coming out. Get some of the rice, like that. Oh yeah. Get a part of the burger. And then... Mm. Mm, that's good. Babe, you gotta try some of this. Can I feed you? I know you're feeding him. I'm not a big fan of ever. Okay, do you like runny egg? Yeah. Oh, okay, fine. Never mind then. Maybe I'll feed him some of it. Oh. Maybe I'll like it. Get some of this meat in here. I'm not a good eater. 
gotta blow it because it's hot. Heck, you want some of my local moco? Yeah. Oh, your mouth is full? Okay. Oh, he really wants bread. Okay. This is also a really nice part of the hotel where there's just random koi ponds and water and waterfalls everywhere. And Taika loves Awa, so I gotta be careful. Look at all the blue fish. Blue fish. Blue fish. Hi, fishy. There's these big ass ones too. Look how big that white one is. Some big old koi. Some big old fish. There's waterfalls over there. It's really beautiful and scenic around here. Hey, little monkey. Look at the little ones. The little baby fish in there. You see the little ones? They're really little. Look how little these guys are. And there's a little blue one over there. It's cool, huh? Look at those big white ones. Cool, huh? This is exactly what Taika is, a beach baby, a salty little sweetheart with sandy toes and a sun-kissed nose. He is a little bit salty and he is very cute. Where's my little beach baby? Beach baby. Oh, that's nice. I keep putting sun in this bag. <laughs> You're big kidding me. Because I know you wanted to buy that to get to use it, but then I know I, I, it does break my heart every time I see sand all up in it because it's so nice. Get that then. Get that too. Hey, my little beach baby. Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> Me and Mob are exploring now. I believe this is what they call Waikiki Village. And it's cool because there's all this like Chinese architecture. And there's this big old tree with all these uh, roots coming out. And you can still see the sun, but it provides awesome shade. Is this a weeping willow? Because there are these branches. I don't know anything about trees. But it's beautiful in here, and it keeps it nice and cool. Oh, sure, where they go? Oh, they're over there. Yeah, but it's super cool. It's like all this Chinese architecture, maybe even Japanese. You can't really tell. Maybe it's a blend. I don't know anything about Asian culture, anyways. It's Thai. Nahoku. I believe that means something turtle. I like this. This is very, very Yeah, which ones? My mom has her own oh, cool. Oh, yeah. You want to get one? Let's get one. Oh, it's a grip? Yeah. Oh, cuny. Get one. That's pretty cuny. It's cuny. Huh? Could be. Yeah, because it's like on the resort side. But if you want, it's for memories. It's not memories. Why do you look so defeated, dude? You bought a bunch of scents, by the way. It smelled so good. Just picked up some new sunglasses. And it's pretty crazy because uh, Maui Gym has never been on my radar. And... For some reason, I thought it was always for old people, so I always ignored that section. I always looked at Oakley, Ray-Ban, and if I was trying to get really fancy, then maybe like some Tom Fords oh or, God, uh, or, uh, or uh, what's that other brand that I like that I have? Um, Tom New, T-H-O-M something. I forgot what it was called, Tom New York. But when I was at the sunglass store, I'm like, hey, you know what? I own a lot of pair of sunglasses, Oakleys, a, a, a ton of them, and they always fit good, but after a long period of time, like especially if I'm out shooting or if I'm out hiking or something, that's when the comfort really wears in. Because when you're in the store and you wear for 10 minutes, almost all sunglasses relatively feel good. So I told them this is what I want. I want something that fits on my nose, only on my nose, and on my ears. But the problem with a lot of Asian dudes is because we don't have a high bridge, there's a, a, a most sunglasses when you wear when you wear it, it goes on your nose, and then when it goes like this, you know, you get that line, and I hate that. It's so uncomfortable, especially, like, if you're shooting and you're laying in the prone position. When you're aiming down your rifle, and you're going like this, it kind of throws off your focal point, and just, like, even when you're playing sports or doing anything like that. So I wanted something that sits on my nose so I could freely go like this, and it won't move my sunglasses up and down because the lens does have a focal point right down the center. And so the lady, she was super knowledgeable. She was like, have you ever tried Maui gyms? And I'm like, why? 
And she's like, because these are sport glasses, yes? Polycarbonate or I don't know what the plastic, the official plastic name is called. I'm like, yeah. She goes, but look on the inside. It has a nose piece like it's a wireframe, so it's adjustable. And I'm like, what? That's tight. Because that's one thing I like about wireframes is since you could adjust the nose piece, it won't, um, like my Ray-Bans don't sit on my, uh, hold on, you want to climb on the, you want to climb on the bed? Here, climb on the bed. It won't, the Ray-Bans won't, don't mess with my stuff, hold on, hold on. The, it won't mess with my, um, <laughs> mess with my stuff. It won't sit on your cheeks because, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the Ray-Bans, they don't sit on my cheeks, but the problem is that because they're not sporty, they fall off really easy and then in, in, uh, it doesn't fit as good when I need to like run or shoot or do stuff like that. So this is cool that it's like the best of both worlds. And she was explaining to me one big difference. And I was like, oh yeah, another thing is since I do shoot and I do go snowboarding, there's a lot of glare in those circumstances. So I want polarized lenses. Does Maui Jim make polarized lenses? And she almost laughed at me. She was like, Maui Jim only has polarized lenses. I'm like, well, are they as good as Oakley polarized lenses? And even though they carry Oakley at the store, just pretty much explaining to me how much better Maui gyms are, are than Oakley's. Not a brand deal, not sponsored, by the way, even though I wish I should. And if there are any Maui gym representatives out there, please hit me up. I love your sunglasses now. Uh, just saying Oakley, they have their lens, and then they put a layer of polarized on it. Maui gym is nine layers of already polarized lenses. So um, Oakley, like if you wear them for like three years, it's, it's possible for the polarized lenses to come off. And get scratched off and then now all of a sudden you get this glare and you're like oh wait how come i go fishing i can see the glare off the ocean when i couldn't do that before it's because it's a, a outer layer with maui gym they're built into nine layers of lenses sandwiched together so even if you scratch it it still will be polarized no matter what and i'm like oh that's really really cool so big fan of maui gyms so far um i'll keep wearing them throughout the rest of the trip it feels really good really light on my nose when I scrunch my face my cheeks don't really push my sunglasses up and down and I feel like I can just wear it forever so if I go snowboarding fishing shooting anything any of the outdoor activities that I do I think I'm good and also it comes with this super cool case that I've never seen before so these are my other pairs that I bought because I fell so much in love with them I had to buy two pairs this one's more of a casual look and I was like I gotta get a casual one and uh, it's also polarized and what's cool about this case is that it looks like this, but when there's no glasses in it, it's collapsible. So, how did she collapse it? What the fuck? In the world? Oh, there you go. So it's collapsible, so now it turns nice. What is going on in here? There you go. It goes nice and flat like this, and you can just put it in your pocket. Isn't that cool? So, when you need a case, you just have it with you, and if you don't need it, you can fold it away. I'm a big fan. Never knew anything about Maui Gyms until now, and I was actually adverse to it because I just thought it was an old people brand, but now I'm a believer. I'm going to look so much more into them now. They might even have their own sporting teams and shooting teams and stuff that I don't even know about, and here I am being all ignorant about it. It's tight. Just got to the beach. Unfortunately, David, Mario, Joe, Aunt Hi, and Christina. Mario's gone. Oh, Mario's gone? Oh yeah, that's right. We just took her to the, or they, uh... Damn, a, you're making all kinds of lies. I know. Please. Now, uh, David, I'm sorry, sorry for the line like a mofo, but uh, David took her to the airport this morning and somehow their route got blocked. So they're, That's somehow. They're gonna be, uh, they're gonna be coming here an hour late. So we're setting up already and we learned from our past mistakes where uh, without Nancy, you don't have a canopy. So we got a cheap umbrella and it's holding up decently so far. But while setting it up, it already flipped inside out like three times so hopefully it really is able to withstand the wind because the wind is strong but we got the shade mainly for this little guy because he got that baby skin and we found the chillest beach we could find this water looks really still looks almost like a swimming pool so i think tech should have a lot of fun here and we're able to get um two more inflatable things one for tech and one for Leia. and the one that we got this time um, I found one that has like a little netting at the bottom to support Taika's butt because what Nancy taught me is when Taika's in the flotation tube thing, he really likes to feel his little butt supported. I think that's what prevents him, uh, prevents him from feeling that feeling of like sinking into the water. So I found two of those guys and I can't wait to bring them in. Awa, do you like Awa now? Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't sound like it. Yeah. yeah. So the umbrella was a doozy. 
I think the wind was way too strong. It was blowing it in all kinds of directions. So uh, we have to turn it down. But what is super cute is we bought Taika these little swimming diapers. <laughs> that's sunblock, you need that. So that's the first time I've ever seen them on. But they're cute, it's supposed to go in and out of the water uh, with those on. Because yesterday we, yesterday we wasted like five pairs taking them out of the water, going back in, and we put them on, put on swimming trunks every single time. So we got smart. And then I inflated this thing. This thing looks like it works pretty good. Whoa, the wind's blowing it. I don't want it to blow away. But they are going to hang out for a little bit. Hopefully um, they come in time. The scenery is very beautiful, and I hope the wind dies down too, or else Tucker might get blown away. I am so happy because Taika got over his fear of the water, and I was kind of scared too because we're having a new ring, and I was scared he was gonna not be used to this one. He wants the old one, even though this one's safer. But Taika's playing with Mama right now, and they're having a good time. The water is colder here though. They <laughs> can't get too far away. <laughs> you big cutie. You like water? You like awa? That's so cutie. <laughs> <That's laughs> big cutie. <laughs> I'm gonna beat you. What the heck? <laughs> Yay, finally they made it. What happened? We went the shortcut way. Yeah. the longest way. Oh no. They blocked the entire road. Oh, damn, that sucks. Hours, so we had to go back the other way, which we, was another two hours. How long did we drive? We drove like almost one hour. Oh, so no. We had to go back. Damn, that sucks. No, so it was almost a three hour ride. Ooh, but you guys are here. Ooh, what is that? Hell yeah, I'll take anything. That shit looks bomb. Oh, come on. Go play. Go play. Watch out, careful. There's soda. Go play. Thank you. Thank you, Mom Bear. Continue digging my hole. I've been digging this big ass hole right here. It's so hard digging a hole with Taika. See, he just keeps wanting to jump inside and ruin my hole. This was actually deeper, but because of him, it wasn't as deep. James is getting his vlog on. He's been stuck in the car for two hours. I think he has to shoot some content for his Patreon. Go check that out. Joe's here. Joe bought like a whole box of these bomb ass moist mochi things. It was so good. But finally, we're all reunited after like a two hour long car ride. This is really good, babe. Okay. insane headache in the world I don't know how I got it either I think I'm, while I'm diving I have my snorkel on I'm blowing my nose too hard and it's like affecting my sinuses and it goes up to here or I just haven't been drinking enough water but my gut feeling tells me I just haven't been drinking enough water because when you're out and it's really really hot you're getting dehydrated right but then when you're also spending all day in salt water it's also pulling more water out of you so you should be drinking twice the amount of water. I don't think I'm doing that. So I think because of that, oh, my head hurts like crazy. I just took some Advil though, so I'm hoping it goes away. Um, I just took a shower and I'm so happy I wasn't sunburned. I finally listened to Ma Bear and I, lit, I wore some sunblock. And uh, this is one of the first times where I don't think I'm sunburned at all, to be honest. Are you naked, Ma Bear? Hell yeah. Are Come you? On in. <laughs> Am I sunburned in the back? Uh, barely. Barely, huh? Yeah. Thank you, Mama. A little bit. You're welcome. 
Thank you. Little Tyka. You always wanted a 10, and I was like, you're so going to 10. You're just going to be protected while you can. And you never believe me. He said one like, more time. I mean, everybody heard me. Oh, okay. was, but you would, your excuse was always like, I want it even on my 10. I'm like, it doesn't block you from 10 -y. That's it just true. Blocks all the bad guys. Damn, this is a legit two. That card. is really legit. <laughs> I just love how much you care about me, and it makes me feel so good that you we just <laughs> use it. To, that's a legit toothbrush, just <laughs> brushing some the inside of the thermos. Well, it smells like nasty mildew milk. Oh, I see. But I think it's so cute how much you care about me. No, I don't. Go away. <laughs> that's so funny. And little Taika's so dark now. Look at my little dark dude. Look how dark you are. Oh my god. I gotta tell you. Bye. Are you watching iPad sideways? You crazy? You big cutie. So this place is so good that we have to come back again. And uh, I didn't vlog it last time because you know, I was trying to bond with everyone. But this is what we got. <laughs> Hell yeah! Motherfucker, eavesdropping ass, David. <laughs> But we got uh, sukumen, so it's like this fat ass Japanese noodle. It's super al dente. And then we got this bomb ass broth of like chopped garlic and pork fat in it. It's so good with the egg with the runny yolk. And then uh, last time, Marbury was saying the broth wasn't hot enough, so they made it extra hot for us. It's super good, huh? Oh, yeah. Damn, it looks so good. God damn it. Can you stop dropping your stuff? You son of a mofo. <laughs> no, no. Oh my god, you tested my patience. Oh my goodness. Here, no more, okay? Papa gonna eat now. It's so good. My bear's setting up Taika's little bed right now to get him ready to go to sleep. And she has this thing called the pillow barricade to keep his little ass from rolling off. Do you even know how much work your mom puts in to keep you in a safe he said, no, I don't. Ducky. Yeah, Ducky, you got to put all your homies there, your blanket there, you little nunchucks. Change your diaper and you get changed. Go over there, go to your mama. Put on your PJs. Baby, Baby, go, go to your mama. Where are you going? Careful, go over there. Go, go to mama. Go to mama, go. I'm not playing, it's late. It's 11 o'clock now, which is like... Almost 1 a.m. our time. So, we're going to get ready for bed, go to sleep. And thank you guys for uh, following us along our lovely day. See you guys tomorrow. Say goodnight. Good night.